Hey everybody, it's Ryan Quintel, and today we're going to be making an app sign-up form from scratch in Sketch. So, I'm going to just open up Sketch on my computer, and I'm just going to create a new document. I'm using Sketch 56.2 here, but this works in older, hopefully newer versions of Sketch, we'll see. So first I just want to like start with my canvas. So I'm going to hit A and grab my artboard tool. I'm going to go ahead and pick an Apple device and why don't we do the iPhone 10s? That's a pretty standard iPhone size. So now that we've got our canvas on here, why don't we say there's going to be a username and password field. So we're going to draw out a couple of rectangles. Doesn't really matter the size of the rectangles. I want them roughly the width of the screen. And I'm going to make them 327 pixels wide. You see me doing that up here on the right. So I've got 327 here because that is 24 pixels from either side of the canvas. And I want these things exactly centered. So they're starting at 24. And we can check up here. X24. That's perfect. So we're going to say this is a username and password field. Why don't we go ahead and make them something like 44 pixels tall. If you don't know, 44 pixels is about the recommended height of a human thumb. So it creates a very tappable area. So I'm using smart guides and just making sure everything's nice and centered. Here I can make them directly centered on screen. They feel a little anemic to me. They feel a little light. So I might thicken those up later, but we'll, we'll see. Now it's time to start shaping these into form fields, something that looks a little bit more like what somebody expects with a form. So I'm going to round them just so slightly, four pixels, and just make them a little friendlier to the eye. Then maybe because they're form fields, I'll give them a border. I'll take their fills. Maybe I'll make them white. So now we've got a username and a password field. Why don't we give them some labels here? There's username. Here's password. Now a lot of people have the inclination of taking labels like this and putting them inside the field. That's not a great idea because if you put a placeholder as your thing, if you're doing this, remember, just go ahead and use a form on the internet. The second you start typing, the second your customer comes in and says this, oh, what was this field supposed to be originally? It's the same thing happening right here in our design program. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use our username. And why don't we make it an email? Ryan at ryanquintel.com. I'll use my own. That's me. You can't actually email me here, so <laughs> I wouldn't try it. It's not going to go anywhere. Go to my, my website, ryanquintel.com, for contacting me. And I'm going to give these two a little darker gray. You see me using this sort of mono space. I just want everything in its place. Maybe that for a password, maybe nothing. We'll just leave it blank. So we've kind of got our building blocks here. We're going to want a sign up button. I'm going to copy this form field to do it. Why don't we do a big, thick sign up button right here? We're going to make it 64 pixels tall. Just round it right up, nice and friendly. Now, if you notice what I'm doing here, let me do that again for you. I'm holding down Option on my keyboard, and I'm dragging. So you can see you can make a copy of just about anything you can grab. And I'm just holding down Option. That's Alt. And dragging, and I'll give this a button. Create account. Do you like title? I like title case. I like the way it looks. It's a little easier for me to read, too. I'm going to use this over here and center it. So, what else do we need in a sign-up form? Well, 
What if somebody forgot? Somebody forgot their password. Let's put that over here. I'm going to give them... Hey, did you forget? That's okay. Maybe they forgot their username too. We'll have this take them to the same place. We'll ask. We'll ask when they get there. Hey, you can't remember your username. You can't remember your password. We'll figure it out. Next, why don't we do something up here? We're going to reserve the top of this space. Maybe for a big dramatic image. Or a gradient or something. Now you can move around layers a couple different ways. You can take a layer and you can drag it. But that takes a long time. So I'm going to hit Command Z and I'll show you what I like to do. Command Option Control. That's the little three buttons right next to your spacebar to the left. Hold those down and just press down on your keyboard. Boom. Right down to the bottom. So now I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to like it. This button feels a little lonely to me. What else did we forget? What else goes on a user form? Ah. Sign in. Maybe, maybe we ask the question, already have an account? You know, questions. We get a lot of questions. Maybe we won't. We won't do that. But we really want you to create. What else? Can we think of anything else that goes in the password? Maybe we're going to put a little icon to show or hide the password. And we're just starting here with some gray boxes and really light, just so we get the general placement of what we want to do. You know, we can take this all to the next level uh, in just a moment. Why don't we also take a gray box? And I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm taking my keyboard, just pressing R. Getting a gray box here. And you can't see it, I'll turn on a border. There we go. Maybe this will be a logo. A logo or a graphic or something. This could do it. This could just about be it. Now I like where this is, so why don't I just go ahead and drag off a copy. And I'm going to save my document here. Let's save. I'm going to save it right on the desktop, and I'll just call it Sign Up Form. Now, the reason why I made a copy, and I did that the same way I've been copying everything, just holding down Option, dragging the whole artboard, I grab them by the name. The reason I'm making a copy is I want to keep this intact. This is my little reference here of the original intent. This might even be a whole different document if I was working on a team or if I was working on a more long-term project. And then we're going to start to dial some things in and get a little bit more of a brand, a little look and feel to this. So, you may have seen me playing with spacing. I'm taking these on two, three, four, five, six pixels up. Same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why don't we find I like IBM Plex Mono. Let's try oh, something sans serif. Something like Din. There we go. Look at that. Oh, very sci fi. Look at that at symbol. Oh, my goodness. I like to take my labels here and maybe make them different weights. Let's see if I got a different Din hanging around. Maybe this is Din alternate. Here we go. That's great. I want to use this same DIN alternate too for this, just so we're all consistent. All right, we're all speaking the same language now. So you can see right away, just changing the font, it goes a long way. We make our 
button really thick and capitalize it too. Wow, look at that. I'm going to take down the font size a little bit. 16. Track it out. You don't have to track it out, but I'm just giving it a shot for now. See how I like it. These form fields feel a little small to me. I think I might beef them up by a little bit. Look at that, 56. That feels good. I want everything to feel good for about a 16 pixel font. 16 points. These are written as screens, don't measure in just pixels. Now I want to show you guys a plugin that I've been using. It's called Automate. And it does all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, but one of my favorite things it does right here is I'll go to Arrange. And I can Tile Objects by Position X. Tile Objects by Position Y. This is something that's basically in Sketch now. So I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. But in Automate, I have keyboard shortcuts hooked up. And I can just say this is going to be 24 pixels apart. How cool is that? Or, if there's some unknown, I can select them both. I can use my alignment commands to make sure they're all linked up. And then here, Sketch has a little number I can dial in, and I'll say 24. Those are really big. They're commanding. They stand up to the button. We have create account here. And I already have an account. Sign in. Maybe we'll make this the same line. And we'll make sign in a little bolder. Now take these two, hold down shift, select them both, group them with command G. I'm going to hold down option on my keyboard, and then I'm going to align layer to center. So that snaps it right to the middle. So I've been doing that with a lot of stuff. If you find yourself Stuff's out of sorts. Shift select them both. You can use these two centerings to get them all locked up. And then you can even hold down option and they'll snap to the center of the canvas just like that. And look at that, it's showing me 24 pixels apart. So this is a very evenly spaced form now. All right. Let's get some details in here. Let's have a little bit of fun. I'm going to take this background instead of doing just a gray. Why don't we do a gradient? Why don't we do a circle gradient? Wow. Here we go. Find some colors that we like here. Some big, some bold. Almost looks like a little popsicle. Or a sunset or something. Maybe we take it more into the the purple realm. I don't know. There's so many things we could do. Maybe this is the sunrise. We're looking at the sun in the sky. Well, now we have some decisions to make, right? This down here is starting to get a little hard to see, so maybe we need to put that in white. So we'll select this text and make that white. Why don't we also underline this? If I'm not too crazy about how that underline looks, I'll take that off. And I'll just press L on my keyboard and I'll draw my own. This is a little bit more deliberate, a little bit more artistic here. You don't have to be artist with everything, but it's fun. Just want to make something that you feel like looks nice. And the underline is a really nice signal to your users to say, hey, this is a link, you know. Links have been underlined since the beginning of the web, and it helps them really understand that something is clickable. You know, think about your parent using this app. Think about somebody that you care about. Now these stand out quite a bit. 
on this background. They don't really blend in. So why don't we do something different here, too? Why don't we make these black? And then we're going to put them in plus darker. Okay, and what plus darker is, is a special blend mode made to represent how iOS, how Apple's operating system blends these colors. And look at this. Look at how nicely that picks up. Maybe we don't want to do plus darker. Maybe we want to do overlay. And you're saying, Ryan, what does overlay do? You can do all sorts of cool things with overlay. Look at that. Warm those right up. Borders? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It looks like they really transform things with borders. Let's try plus darker again here. That's too much. Take our opacity down. Now you do want to still show people that there's a clear area that they can tap on. And maybe this create account. We'll try doing the same thing here. Plus darker. Get rid of the border. See how dark that gets. So dark that we need to make our text white, huh? Now I'm starting to like this, but there's something missing. I, you know, I want some texture. You know, let's let's try searching unsplash for an image. Open up Safari here. Just go to Unsplash's website. Why don't we look for a sunrise? Just find the nicest one. Maybe this. Nice and tall, just like we need. This photo is courtesy of Matthew Feeney. Go check out his work. Swap back here. I'm going to select my background. I'm going to add an additional fill to it, and this one's going to be an image. Choose my image. I'm going to go to Downloads, and why don't I find... Look at all my phone files here. Matthew Feeney's image. Look at that. It's dramatic. Now, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it underneath our gradient. And now we can start to see, if we bring down the gradient, that there's an image back there. You know, we can even change what the blend mode is. Plus darker. Luminosity. Maybe something like a soft light. I don't want to show too much texture. Although that's very cool. That is pretty cool. Why don't I stick with Just a very transparent thing here. And now we're going to try a couple of different effects. Now that I'm seeing that back there, I don't mm -hmm. want everything to be... Oop. Mac yelled at me. I don't want everything to be see-through. And this is sometimes what it can be. It can be, you know, finding these things, making these mistakes. Now, color sample here again. Some of that purple. I'll make it dark. Just like <laughs> let's go old school. Let's go old school. We'll put a little bit of a button effect on this. How can you imagine everybody that's into minimalism and flat design? I love flat design. It's got its place. But sometimes sometimes you need to put Something like that on there. Now we're going to make a compound shadow. I'm going to do that with a 12 pixel blur. I'm going to go down to say 5 or 6. And we're going to go real light with it. 50, 40, 30, 20. Yeah. And a second. This is what I mean by compound. A little less blurred. A little closer. And then this one. We'll go down, and those two levels of shadow really help the thing.
pull itself off. They can't. You know, maybe I want to take this whole thing and wrap it in a modal. Just experimenting. We're just experimenting as we go through and we see the canvas change and we see the style and the look change. Trying to find something that's right. Pull it in another 24. Bring over my username, password. Forgot, I'm just making sure everything's nice and aligned. And now maybe we want to do the dark sign up form. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's. That's how you know I went too far. I'm axiom. Here we go. Now I'm selecting everything. Just flipping it. Just flipping it. Just use my arrow keys here, tapping around. Trying to find that visual center sketch thing sits there. I think it's a little bit higher than that. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe I want the button to match. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to make a layer style. We'll call this sunset with image. I'm going to take the button. Call this button style one, just because I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose my two shadows here. And now this gradient, I'm going to go ahead and add to gradients. I'm going to select this button, and I'm going to use that very same gradient. I'm not going to go opacity 40%. I'm going to go, whoop, there we go. Max yelling at me. We can do whatever we want here. Look at that. Darken this text a little bit. You know, you want to talk about real old school. One of the things we used to do, we used to do, I sound like a 60-year-old man. Here we go. Just a little lightness. You know, and this can make all the difference. That's... Now that's going to be a little too much, but you'll be able to see. Plus lighter, but there'll be a lot of ways to take your own style and just make sure that all the labels, everything is readable. I'm going to dial it a little bit back, but it'll be enough because you got to see, look how thick Din is. Look how small the A and the R are. You know, maybe I even drop it down a weight. And that can make it a little easier to read. Create account. Username, password. So now we're starting to jam a little bit. Now we've got this dark modal on the sign up form. We might even be able to drop the gradient here. Wow, look at that. Maybe we just do overlay, right? Enough to color our sunset. Enough to tint that, just like that. And then I might put on one more film. Why not? And I'm going to use this little button here and rotate its direction. We can do that, or we can make it come from the top. We're going to take the opacity way, 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 way. It's going to go up to 10 or 20 percent. Not much. How about 30? How round can we go? Very round. 
We put in one additional detail here. I'm going to take sign in. I'm going to color it. List of swatches. I'm going to go and grab a color. Look at that. My pink's still there. Heck, maybe all. Maybe all my links. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love it yet. Maybe I need to snap that right to the edge. I don't know. I always like a nice full button like that, but maybe it works better the other way. Why don't we take this and make a little logo, a little eye. Show and hide your password. Try with 32. We don't want our icon to go much more than that. And 24 for the height. I'm going to double click the circle. And see these sides? So I'm going to grab them. I'm going to pinch them in. Look at that. Just a one pixel away. Doot, 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 doot. Stop right about there. Now I'm going to hit O. Look at this. This is going to be a creepy little eye. Change the color so we can see. I'm going to select this and hit Command D. Duplicate and get yet one more color. Why do we have this be our icon? So I'm going to select this and this. The little inner eye and the outer eye. I'm going to use a boolean command. I'm going to say subtract. And then I'm going to select this and this. You can my icons are off screen. I'm on my laptop screen right now. And I'm going to say union. Just like that. A little show hide. Password field. Let me just scale this down. What do we get? 28. I also think we can double click and really get down to a little bit more of a delicate eye. A little too delicate here. Push it up to the side. And now we have our magic eye. And hey, I don't know. Maybe the magic eye has a gradient on it? I don't know. Turn it off. Well, the magic eye is a little bit, a little bit too much with that gradient. Maybe just a very slight. Maybe just a very slight. Okay. Why don't we try one more rev? Where we're going to go. Real simple with it. I'm going to take this whole dark background and call it darkness. Make a big rectangle by pressing R. Send it to back with Command, Option, Control, and Down Arrow. Those are three buttons to the left of your keyboard. Left of your space bar. I'm going to select darkness as the background. I'm just going to get rid of them. Look at that. That certainly looks more modern, doesn't it? Why don't we change from radial to linear? And that just makes the gradient, instead of following a circle, it makes it just a straight line. Just like that. Here, maybe I even cut out the middleman. And maybe I go a little bit more orange. Maybe a little. There we go. Right in there. That's a little strong. So we're just going to pull it out. Even it up a little bit. 
see what works. Hmm. Black's a little too strong. I think we had it just right. What are we missing? Hey, how about some instructions? What am I doing here? Type in sign in. Create your account. Since this is our big command here, we're going to take the characters and we're going to beef them up a little bit. Say to 36. We'll pull it in. Then I like to take the line height and characters and adjust them. Maybe I want it very light. Create your account, create your account. Maybe not, maybe me. It's always nice to tell people why they're making an account. I like to do that. I think it's nice. Plus, if you're making an app, people have to sign up for it. You know, they want to know. They want to know important stuff. Lost my little text box here. Add your email and password to protect your purchase. I'll say purchases of this shopping. Maybe you're shopping for neon. I don't like the three lines. So we'll do two. I'll make them six apart. And we're going to select everything here. Group it. And then I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm going to use this center. And look at that. It snaps us right back to center. Right back to center. I'm going to do the same thing. Here, over here. Now this has to come up. I'm going to make this touch the username, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 32. I always like to work in 12s, 32s, that sort of thing. So there's all sorts of ways, all sorts of ways to do this. I don't really like my second button as much as I like that first button. How cool is this first button? I think it's great. Call it button style too. Use it over here. I think that's cool. All right. We'll do one more, and then we'll call it. This is going to be a little bit of a hybrid of both things. Now we're going to take a rectangle, draw it up. Just take an angle and just cut it like that. Maybe I'm going to go down here as well. Take this point, and I'm just holding down shift so it stays in a straight line. It's doing a little something like that. Then I'll do one. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to flip it. So I'll flip it like that. I'm going to flip it this way, too. So now it's kind of cut in the top and in the bottom. And maybe what we're going to do with these is maybe we'll put that same button style on. Maybe we'll do the sunset. You know, maybe we like that image. Maybe I can take them and I can union. Right? And now we have our image that's spread across them. Why don't we try and find something a little bit different here from Unsplash? Why don't we search for pattern? Maybe something fun and geometric. 
A lot of great patterns out on Splash. Ooh, this is this is exactly what I'm looking for. Something like this. Maybe even this one. We'll say thanks to Ricardo Gomez Angel. Or Joe Felipe. Wow. Great work. Take this image, I'm gonna change it. Why don't we try one of our patterns that we found? You can see here dropping that in and now look at that. We get a nice sort of texture going on. And we can play with that in all sorts of different ways. You know, maybe we want to go up on this, but put it into overlay for more of a dramatic look at the drama there. The highlights and low lights. Hard light. Look at that. That's great. It also changes our colors a little bit. So we'll go through the last exercise of kind of adjusting our colors around to match what we just did there. Ooh. Hoo hoo hoo. I don't know about this. Might be too much. Is it ever too much, though? More saturation and all of it. Sometimes you gotta take these things and you gotta dial them in by hand. And now, get rid of our shadows. And that's a pretty dark button. So maybe we do create a count just like that. Maybe we track it back in and up the size. And you can go more or less minimal with this. You know, maybe it's just create. You can adjust what your labels are going to say. Obviously, you get different things in different languages. And now I don't know how I feel about this color so much. This gradient does not feel. It doesn't feel it to me. I'm not feeling it like I should be. I think we need, yeah, we need our third color in here or something. We need our, our orange to make it feel a little bit more real, right? Look at that. That is a tricky, tricky gradient to pull off for any button, any sort of light to dark like that. And we're almost doing it there. We'll create a new style, button style three. Yet another button style, Ryan. See what happens when we do it to our eye. It's a little bit too much on the eye, so we'll just pull that. And then we'll, we'll do forgotten and sign in. Why don't we take them here and just bring them over and brighten them up. So there we go. There's a few explorations of a create an account, a sign in flow. We didn't really get to the logo, um, but you can always take form design like this and apply the fundamentals to just about any form you're creating. In this case, we're using explicit labels. We're using placeholder text. And if you do want it to look like placeholder, a nice little trick is just dial down the opacity and your comps and it'll look like you haven't filled it out yet. You know, we'll take it down to, say, 25. And that might not be enough. I'm looking at it far away, and we want our lower vision friends to be able to see, so maybe we'll take it up to 40. And then you can do all sorts of different states and tell people how you like it. Let's clean this whole canvas up, and we'll save it. So I like to take my first artboard, and I put it at 0, 0. Take everything else, select their Y, do it zero, zero, and then I take them all, I tidy them, and I put them 120, or sometimes 240. We'll do 120 here, apart. I hit Command, period. 
And you can see here, a couple explorations of a little bit of a fun UI sign-up form. And you could definitely take it more from here, but I think you know where you're headed. So that's just an idea to get your brain flowing. If you were needing help or maybe in a little bit of a rut, that's a bunch of things that you can play with to get a bunch of different books. I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.